control of me How's it going guys, my name is Dominic, and for you guys today, I'm bringing you one of our most painful wars ever in Bay Clan. and of course this is after the brand new update, as you can see, 47-47, we did draw this war, but if we took a, if we take a look at how much we lost it by 0.4%, we lost this war, mismatched war for us against us by 0.4 percentage points, like I don't... I don't think we've had anything, anything, I don't think there's been anything closer than this so far and it's just so painful for us once we saw this and honestly, if we take a look at the way we got mismatched, let's just take a look at our number 10, I'm not going to show the pace, just looking at our number 10, level 2 expos, level 16 and level 17 king and queen, okay fair enough, but he's got level 2 expos, so that should definitely put his war weightage down, I assume, looking at his opposite, <laughs> Town Hall 10 to start him. His opposite is level 19 queen, level 15 king, and look, level 10 walls, maxed out defenses, everything. So, and even look at me, as you can see, I have not got maxed out defenses whatsoever. And if you just look at my opposite, just to look at his base, level 20 and level 16 king and queen, and look, max defenses, everything is max defense wise, and it's just very unfair for us. Save, they had an extra. They had 8 Town Hall 10s, we had 7 Town Hall 10s, which at number 7 is a Town Hall 9.5, so we've had 6 Town Hall 10s and they had a full 8. And so yeah, just a 47 to 47, losing by 0.4%, it is just not one we want to witness again. Did slow us down of course on that road to 200 and did mess up our Warlog just that little bit. Not very nice to see that in a Warlog, but getting mismatched it's not much we can do. They didn't use 5 attacks, so... Fair play to them, and they did get that last star in the last minute. So, or well, last seconds of war, last moments of war, their number two attacked on number four and got those last percentage points, which they needed just for that draw. And then the extra lucky percentage in that total destruction. So, nonetheless, if we're just going to take a look at some replays here, I'm going to have a look at our number 10 attacking their number 14, and look at this strategy. Wow. Gove Loon with 16, let me just turn the volume down, sorry, Gove Loon, he's triggered out the clan castle by triggering a giant bomb where there was a hole in the base over there and as you can see he puts a poison spell down, the new poison spell does significant damage and level 3, just take a look, look it's slowly going down but as you, as you can see gradually across time that speed is going down a lot faster and I think it will be very low health, it should be very low health and uh, after damage as you can see, still now he's losing health. Um, I don't really understand the concept of that, but now, as you can see, about 75% of the health has gone. And then he again, double giant bomb there. Wow, a what a poor place for a double giant bomb. But he starts off by putting down his king, queen, and golems all in that gap. A very, very silly or confusing idea, some would say. But this is to get straight to the core of a town hall. And as you can see, once these two air defenses are down, he can almost use balloons to take out these destructors at the bottom. But as you can see, the Valkyries did help out a lot in, by going over there. And they don't, and he don't really need to use the balloons. But now he starts, as you can see, he starts using some balloons on these archer towers out here. And honestly, looking at this at the moment, I was, I was probably thinking, what on earth are you doing, man? This is this is poor. Like, look at it. Where, I can hardly see any Valkyries. I think I only see two Valkyries at the moment. And lots of balloons. And honestly, once this qu queen gets hold of that last air defense, and those Valkyries get hold of that last air defense, then the balloons get to their, get to do what they were meant to do, and that is clean up the rest of his base. And as you can see now, all air defense is down. Gosh, about 10 balloons, 12 balloons still standing, and he's got plenty of wizards and Valkyries on the outside to just clean up the rest of his base. So, for me, first impressions of this attack towards the beginning was, what on earth are you doing? But... As you can see towards the end, it's an, a complete overkill with so many balloons, wizards and the queen left over and still standing. And that is a brilliant attack. Very well planned, I think, but got me kind of confused at the beginning, but did very well there. And then looking at another attack, we can go to our number 17 attacking their number 18 paras here. Lots of numbers. As you can see, this is a very familiar base layout. I think we've seen this one before. The four cube, the four little cube base. So... That maybe might be a desired demonstrates video. That maybe maybe not, but there. That's that's one of your very popular bases. So without too much 
breaking down you can see how this base is done with a go hog attack strategy of course as you can see there only real place for double giant bombs is there and there and i'm assuming though that that is where the giant bombs are going to be because there is either there or there there is no other place and i'd assume like skeleton traps or something are in those corners so it starts off by doing the go part of a raid and he's, i'm thinking he's hoping to trigger off a few giant of those giant bombs you can see the queen is all the way on the opposite side of a base but i think his main aim at the moment was to trigger off those giant bombs and at the moment he hasn't done any hasn't done it so far um there you go first of a giant bomb first of a four giant bomb goes down but there's still another giant bomb there and another two on the cross so hopefully that one wizard can trigger it once it goes towards that king stand there you go that's a um but still, still two more giant bombs standing. But looking at this, the hogs aren't going to run into it. There is no possibility those hogs are actually going to trigger off those because there are no defenses for them to actually run into. And he does a go hog part of it. He does the hog part of it with the enemy queen still standing. But as you can see, it's only level two. So not too much damage is going to be done to those hogs there. Along with it. Oh, was that a giant bomb? No, that, I don't think, no, that wasn't a giant bomb. There, There's your third giant bomb getting triggered by those golems. And at the moment, there's only one giant bomb left there. And that, guys, is a brilliant attack by Paras. Again, the Queen is still standing. Not something too ideal you'd like to see in a Go Hog, but as seeing that it's only level 2, those Hogs absolutely got wrecked, actually, by that Queen. But seeing that it's only level 2, there's not too much that Queen can do to those Hogs. But that's probably going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I know it's about two attacks, but i just like to show you this sad loss where we got <laughs> just losing by 0.4% was very painful just when i first take took a look at that took a look at that warlock i was like no way 0.4 percent and yep we all were very upset very sad what well, oh you must be in the clan before the war start starts at a high enough rank and can okay um i think i know what a war spectator is but looking at our current war it's an absolutely stunning start by us we got a town hall we got one of our guys, Jan, here. I'll just show you this one replay just to finish off. He's attacking a Town Hall 10 with a Go Hog attack strategy. We'll put it on times two speed here. Brilliant strategy. Um, free attacking in number nine. Jan finally has been on a decent run at the moment. Two, to getting two two stars in our previous war. And then three starring and two starring in this war as well. So very good from Jan. And... There, so see, as you can see, the queen goes down. He has got no free spells, but all those inferno strings are f focused on those golems. But there, yeah, you can see, there now the inferno strings are on the go on the hogs. But luckily, the hogs go out of a radius. And honestly, in my opinion, I feel this was quite a lucky attack because now, once all the defenses are down, the hogs are going to go straight to the oh, oh, okay. Luckily, the golem and queen were there to protect. So there you go, you guys. <laughs> Times four speed. I couldn't keep up with the pace of it. I didn't know what was going on because I was putting it times two speed. But as you can see, it was a brilliant attack. Free starring a town or ten with Gohog with level two Inferno towers is a very good achievement for Jan. And he put made it look so easy there with four golems and twenty four hogs. So that was a brilliant attack. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully we win this war. We're doing a very. We have got a very good start at the moment. Looks like a mismatch, or it's just a a brand new clan with level four with thirteen war wins, but. Never know, we could still lose this one. Hopefully not, but that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and yep, that's it from you guys, and have a good day.